In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ, our Savior and our King, renew in me allegiance to your kingship. I pray for the grace to place you above the powers of this world and all things. I pray for the grace to obey you before any civic authority. I pray for the grace to fervently bring about your kingdom in my family and community. I pray that you will reign in my mind. I pray that you will reign in my heart. I pray that you will reign in my will. I pray that you will reign in my body. O Prince of Peace, may your reign be complete in my life and in the life of the world. Christ, my King, please answer these petitions if they be in accordance with your holy will. As I reflect on your second glorious coming and the judgment of all mankind, I beg you to show me mercy and give me the grace to become a great saint. I pray that not only will I spend eternity with you, but that you may use me a sinner to bring others into your kingdom for your glory almighty and merciful god you break the power of evil and make all things new in your son jesus christ the king of the universe may all in heaven and earth acclaim your glory and never cease to pray you we ask this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Lord, our God, you alone are the most holy King and ruler of all nations. We pray to you, Lord, in the great expectation of receiving from you, O divine King, mercy, peace, justice, and all good things. Protect, O Lord, our King, our families, and the land of our birth. Guard us, we pray, most faithful one, Protect us from our enemies and from your just judgment. Forgive us, O sovereign King, our sins against you. Jesus, you are a King of mercy. We have deserved your just judgment. Have mercy on us, Lord, and forgive us. We trust in your great mercy. O most awe-inspiring King, we bow before you and pray. May your reign, your kingdom, be recognized on earth. Amen. Let us all stand and pray together the Angelus. The angel of the, the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to Jesus the Good Shepherd. O Jesus, Good Shepherd, see us gathered from near and far. Proclaiming, you are our master, our shepherd. You call and lead us to fulfill paths of peace and contentment. In you, Jesus, is sweet labor and joyful rest. Never have you abandoned us with Jesus. Never have you failed us. Through dark nights and difficult moments, you carry us. There is no fear when you are near. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Without you, who can survive? O loving Son, as the Father has entrusted all of us to you, we live up to you in particular, His Holiness, Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, religious, lay leaders, family heads, and all those who have flocked under their care, that they may shepherd them after your own heart. Bring back quickly to the fold those who are lost. Send the Spirit to make us humble, meek and obedient, that you may be pleased to grant our every plea, especially this one. O Good Shepherd, you are our only hope, only you can make us one. Only you can renew our land. Only you can lead us safely to our true home, where at last we shall see and adore you face to face forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of this day as we continue to offer to Him our prayers and petitions. And as we remember also those who are affected by the typhoons. We begin this Mass by humbly acknowledging our sins and ask for God's mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had written on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I said many thirsts because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne, and the four living creatures and the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the poor living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They, they sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God. Those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation, you made them a kingdom and priest for our God, and they will reign on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of free priests to serve our God. Let be the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches, and let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, 
Aleluya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palace palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I visited a young man who was actively dying uh, in a hospital. He was in his uh, 20s and he was gasping. He was catching up his breath. That's a sign that the person is actively dying. And when he started to cry, of course, he felt, you can imagine the, the fear of this person, the anxieties, all feelings. He's very young and he's going to leave behind his loved ones, his girlfriend. He will not be able to marry and his dreams will all be gone. And so, of course, the natural uh, reaction is crying. He cried while he was catching up his breath. And the whole family was present. One of the aunts sabi, Wag kang umiyak. Don't cry. And so he stopped crying. And I asked, her, why not allow him to cry? It's a sad situation. Why don't you allow the person to cry? Even the kids, especially boys, when they start crying, we say, stop crying. Bakla lang ang umiyak. Bakla ka ba? Why don't we allow, especially the boys, to cry? Why don't we allow them to feel helpless? Our God cried. Jesus cried in the Gospel today. And he felt helpless while he was hanging on the cross. We think of God as almighty, powerful, omniscient, omnipotent, powerful. I think we have to uh, explore another image of God. A God who is helpless and vulnerable. A God who cries with us. A God who suffers with us. During this pandemic, God is suffering with us. And it's an invitation for all of us to examine our image of God. Is He a God who walks with us in this life? In our, in our, uh, a God who suffers, who cries with us. When Jesus saw Jerusalem, he foresaw what would happen, the destruction of Jerusalem. And he cried. 
He is so in touch with his feelings. He is so human. And that's what that's what it means to be human. To cry because there is redemption in tears. But we suffer, we cry, but we know the meaning of the suffering. We are able to connect it to the story of Jesus on the cross. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. Lord, let us feel your presence. Lord, let us feel your presence. That the church may become a living sign, an instrument of unity and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, let, let us feel your presence. presence. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us, us feel your, your presence. presence. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us, us feel your, your presence. presence that life's misfortunes or sickness may not be distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus in even sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let us, us feel your, your presence. presence. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us feel your, your presence. presence. God our Father, May we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man and woman, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of our departed brothers and sisters. Do not count their deeds against them, for in their hearts they desire to do your will. As their faith united them to your people on earth, so may your mercy join them to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gift of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God.